So I just concluded my five days in Acadia National Park testing out my solo camp car. In addition, I'm about to travel across America in order to complete my goals. And I decided to use this opportunity to test out all of my camera gear that I'm going to use to help tell my story. Now this gear includes the camera that I'm currently shooting on, as well as a drone and a GoPro. The video that you are about to see is my first attempt at a vlog. Now my days in Acadia National Park started off with me waking up in a Walmart parking lot. Now for those of you who don't know, many Walmart locations across America allow motorhome campers to stop overnight for free in their parking lots. So without any further ado, here is my first vlog. So I just woke up uh, about 10 minutes ago and um, pleased to inform you that there are about 30 other campers in the slot. S let me show you. Camp. Camper, 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 van, RV, camper. Uh, so yeah, car glamping at Walmart. So I then made coffee and left the Walmart parking lot for Acadia National Park. Okay, car's parked. I'm about to start my hike. I'm gonna hike around Jordan Pond and up Bubble Rock. <sighs> it's about 6.45 on Sunday. It looks like I'm the only one on the trail. In fact, I was the, uh, there was only one other car in the parking lot when I got here. Um, now, the reason why Acadia National Park has such a special place in my heart is because when I first received my box from California, and I opened it and I found my journal which contained the 25 or 425 list in it. I just needed some time to like process all of that. So I called out of work, had my shifts covered and I drove up to, uh, to Acadia National Park from uh, Massachusetts. And I remember just sitting here. In fact, I can show you the exact spot where I sat and had the idea to just start the YouTube channel and go all in on it. And one thing I was very surprised about is how, how all the chips just fell into place. And I was, oh, I was blown away with like this emotion. I was like, yes, this is it. This is what I have to do. It's like it became so apparent, so clear to me that this is the way forward. And that's why it was easier for me just to like give everything up, like leave my job, pack up my car, turn it into an RV and just start this trip. Because I want to be able to enjoy views like this whenever I want. But this is where it all started for me, in this park. And therefore, I decided it's the best, the best thing to do would be to start this cross country journey right here where it all began. I'm gonna fly the drone, check out this view. So it turns out that it's actually illegal to fly a drone in a national park, like illegal illegal, like federal offense illegal, like that's bad. That's like deportation level bad. I don't wanna get deported. I love America and I want to stay in America. I would never do anything that would get me deported, ever. Yes, it's illegal to fly drones in national parks. At one point, I didn't know. And if you don't know, now you know. I'm sorry, let's just get back to the vlog. Should get like a zoom lens. Do you see them? I just wanted to be your friend! Honestly, I don't know much about cameras. I have this lens, which is a, 
that's a 10 to 18. Um, I don't exactly know what that means, but it gets enough of like all of my background in. But I do need like a lens that can like zoom because that would have been a cool shot with the birds flying away. Now, I'm very happy that I took this trip because I got to test out all of my gear. I definitely see the advantage of having a zoom lens in my kit as it will aid in my storytelling as I travel across America. Okay, so we are about to arrive at my favorite place in Acadia National Park. Okay, so we're about to come up to the rock at which I sat at for hours and I, here it is. I sat right here with this view. I sat here thinking to myself, what am I going to do about this? Am I going to just stop everything and go all in on this list? Or am I going to play it safe and operate within the confines of my comfort zone? Perhaps it's too soon to say, but I feel pretty confident in my decision to leave the comfort zone, move into my car and just do what I'm doing now. I don't know, I don't wanna say nostalgic, but I definitely feel an overwhelming sense of emotion right now, just sitting here knowing that this is where it started. This is where all of this started, at this very rock with that view. <sighs> I'm hungry. Who knows, maybe this is all a big mistake. There are times when I feel like uh, that I'm, I'm like missing out of opportunities with like friends and like people like they're going on and moving on without me and they're like making progress in their lives and their relationships and their careers. And here I am just, hmm. So I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I have all of this figured out. I don't, I, I really don't. But I'm taking it one day at a time. I'm constantly telling myself over the last month is today's day one. Like I'm still figuring out so many things. Like I'm learning so many things about myself. I'm learning so many things about how to make this entire thing work every single day. So that, that's why I tell myself today's just day one and one is better than zero. So I just keep going. Yesterday I had like, I was still trying to figure everything out and like food, I'm like, oh, it was crazy because I can't afford to eat out all the time, but how am I gonna store food because I don't have a fridge, oh, there's so many things, but I don't wanna create the facade like I know everything or have all the answers, I don't. Every single day I'm learning, every single day I'm figuring things out. I just chose to leave fear behind and make Faith my new best friend. I wanna take a moment real quick and just drive this point home as I believe that we are always either operating out of fear or operating out of faith. And if you are just conscious of that and ask yourself, what are you operating out of? I think it'll make for a better day, better experience, and definitely, definitely a better life. Okay, now that all is said and done, it's time to get back to the trail. <clears throat> So it seems like I just got to the foot of the trail um, with incredible views. Check that out. Woo! Okay, so I could continue on the path and go down this way, or I can go up. It says it's 0.4 miles. I assume I just need to follow that blue marker, but it looks like I'm going to need both my hands for this, so therefore I'm going to switch over to the GoPro. GoPro chest mount. So I hiked up to the top of the trail and got to test out my GoPro. If you follow me on Instagram, then you saw the hike up as well as the awesome people that I met at the top of the trail. I post my day to day on my Instagram story. So if you feel so inspired, go and check it out. After chilling on the top of the trail for a while, I decided to head down now, not the way I came, but there's a 
alternate route down to the parking lot and there's a bus stop which can take me back to where I parked at the uh, pond house, Jordan Pond House because <sighs> I do not want to go back down the same way I came up <sighs> Just got to the bottom of the trail. I'm in the parking lot right now. I'm waiting for the bus, but I've actually been sitting here for about 20 minutes, and I don't know if the buses are actually running because it's Sunday and it's like 9 a.m. now. We'll wait and see. Stay tuned. So a new plan. I haven't seen the bus and I've been waiting for about 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna hike back to the Jordan Pond house. Hey, have you seen any buses come by? Uh, I have not, no. You have not? not okay. recently. Thanks. So, to my surprise, the shuttle buses do work on Sundays. That was one of them. So my drone has like these cool features that I've yet to test out and I think I'm gonna test out one of them right now. It's like a follow feature and I think this will be like a cool shot if I have the drone follow me. Uh, again, I've never done it before. I still haven't done it. I haven't, I have not, I didn't, I did not. I want you to listen to me. I'm going to say this again. I did not have any relations with that drone Mavic Air and I need to get back to my video right so it's not raining it's just drizzling and uh, but it's okay because I can see the pond house from here over there with all the umbrellas and I'm about to go to the gift shop because I want to have a t-shirt from Makeda National Park and a bumper sticker. Because if you go to a national park and don't get a bumper sticker, did you really go to the national park? I got my t-shirt and my bumper sticker. I spent five days in a complete and real world setting and came out of it more prepared to travel across America. I feel more confident in my ability to deal with the challenges that I know I'm going to face. I don't wanna look at life and say, why me? I wanna look at life and say, try me. I don't just want to go through life, but rather I want to grow through life, as we should. Oh,